folks, this is your host Sada here and we are learning Laravel Dusk and welcome to the third video of the series. I'm going for, in this video, we're going to cover uh, Laravel installation and the installation of Laravel Dusk. Uh, before we move uh, any deeper into this, what I would like to recommend is that, uh, uh, you know, one major source of learning is really the documentation. And that is true for, for every software, but more, uh, than, more, more than anyone else and more than any other software, it's true for Laravel because it's, it's really well documented. And the same, the same is true for Laravel Dusk. It will give you, if you have a look at the documentation, then you can see I'm scrolling on and on and on. And there's like almost no topic that is not covered in the documentation. So it's extremely important that you keep a browser window open, the documentation is open in a browser window. And you will always see the latest updated information as to what, what needs to be done and what is the standard way of doing things and what you should do when you, when you get stuck. Just do a control quick, uh, a quick control F and just, just search for what you're looking for. And for example, if you say, uh, you know, as a C and you, you'll see where, wherever that is used. And it will also, for example, show you all the assertions, uh, uh, all the assertions you can see here, or all, all of them are here. And they're, they're again, explained in, 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 in almost, in, in, you know, it, it's, not, it's not the best of details, but yes, every, everything is explained as to what it exactly does. And when, once you use it, you come to know as to what exactly it's about. Um, so, uh, so this, and also if we run into any problems like Laravel community, just like I mentioned in, in the intro video, Laravel community is, is quite active. So, you know, uh, when, when you need anything, if you run across, uh, if you come across a problem, you, you can almost be, um, 100% sure that somebody has already been there. Somebody has had that problem and you can simply go and uh, have a look at the solution. Just do a Google search and you'll see a lot of, uh, you know, links pop up, you know, uh, people offering you different solutions. Um, so with that word of advice, um, we'll jump right into the installation. So uh, coming back to VS Code and, uh, going to the top of the, um, top of the documentation, what we'll do is obviously the first thing that we need to do is we need to pull in, uh, uh pull in Laravel Dusk. So before we even do that, of course, I mean, it's because we're going at Simpor. So, so there is, uh, there is something that we absolutely uh, need and that is, yeah, you guessed it right, a Laravel installation. So we have to, you know, do a good old Laravel new and let's call it a dust goods. So let's just use a dust tutorial and let's wait for, wait for the installation to finish. Right, it's installing different uh, different packages and generating auto optimize auto load files. Generating the key. <coughs> Voila! So we have the Laravel installation, and as we speak, Laravel eight point eight is out, and this is a fresh Laravel eight point eight installation. So we can simply uh, cd into the folder. We clear the screen, okay. And the first thing that we do before we do anything else, I believe we will install uh, Laravel Dusk. So that is actually going to take a little bit more time. That's going to take more time than uh, than the actual Laravel installation itself. Um, and it can vary from uh, from your uh, you know from machine to machine. But let's wait for it to finish before we come back. Okay, we are back and uh, it is uh, now installed, uh, like Laravel Dusk is installed. And, and I've also added, while, uh, while you were away, I, I've also added the Dusk folder to, the, uh, to VS Code. And uh, what, what you will notice is, okay, um, before we check, I think there's one more command that we need to, we need to do in here, and that is use to ask in Dusk install. If we were need to do that, this is going to be fairly quicker in comparison. So we're not just we will not go anywhere, but just we'll just wait for it to finish.
Okay, um, so uh, the, the, the PSP Artisan Dusk install command is also done. And as you can see, it has downloaded the latest Chrome driver bandwidth. That means it has, it has downloaded the latest version uh, available for, for I'm, I'm on Mac OS. And this is, by the way, this is, uh, there, there's a command as well, which, which you can see here. Uh, what you can do is you can you can actually run this command anytime that you get, that you start having problems, you know, with uh, with things that says element not interactable, and you know, not always, but yeah, if you if you start running into these problems, uh, you know, I think it's always a good idea to just you know quickly run this piece to access that Chrome driver. Um, there are a lot of other issues that that come when when the latest driver is uh, is not updated. So what you can do is you can you can run this command and you can get the latest binary. And that is going to show you. Uh, that is going to give you the latest uh, of of the Chrome uh, of Chrome version that you can use. So, in case you're wondering, you can you can also do a quick search. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so, you can also do a quick search, latest Chrome version, and you will see that there is there is a Chrome version that was that was released on the twenty first of September, twenty twenty. So if you had any problems around that date, that means you need to update your Chrome binaries. And this is something that you you should you should have a look if in case you run into any Chrome driver issues. Um, so um, so but with this command, when when you do a new installation, it it is going to automatically download the latest driver and it's going to install it. So with the fresh installation, you don't really have to worry about it. All right, that's pretty much it for installation. And when once you go to uh, if you go if you go to the folder structure, you'll see the test. Once once this is installed, uh, you're going to see a browser uh, a browser folder pop up, and that is going to have a components, a console, and a pages, uh, and also a screenshots um, uh, a screenshots folder. And it is also going to have an example test. And that's not that's not exactly the way we are going to use it, but yes. Uh, you can you can start writing your tests from the next video. So see you on the other side. Thank you.